Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I am going to demonstrate you how can we configure a job in Jenkins using GIT. GIT is an online repository which is available online, uh, which is available with GitHub and we can deploy our files and in on that github and we can share the link with our users so they can they, they can download the directory they can download the files at their end so in this tutorial i'm going to upload the my project my java project on g on github and i'm going to integrate git with jenkins and then i'm going to build a project within jenkins by extracting the data from github repository so to know more about what is Git and how can we configure GIT and and how to upload files on a GIT, you can go through my previous video in which I have clearly demonstrate how can we create a GitHub fold directory and how can we deploy or upload a file on that GitHub from our local system. So let's move on to towards our virtual machine on Jenkins and I'm going to create a new job first but before building a new job because we are going to use GIT we are going to integrate Jenkins with GIT so there should be a GIT plugin need to be installed as a on this G, on this environment so I click on manage Jenkins so then I click on manage plugins manage plugins and you can see I have already configured github plugin so I you can go and check in your installed whether this github plugin has, or this GIT plugin has been configured or not if it is not configured you can install it so by going into available and from here you can simply type GIT plugin and set it up on your environment so right GIT GIT plugin and then you can down you can have a look from your GIT plugin you will get a direct you can you will get a list here option here and then you can install it without restarting it so once you have configured once you have installed GIT plugin on your in your environment you need to restart Jenkins to make the changes to reflect the changes in your environment and once it is done we can start creating a new job by using that GIT environment so I click on create new jobs I give a name to this BISP GIT test that's the name of my job freestyle project click on OK then I as soon as you have configured you have integrated GIT with Jenkins when you click on source code management you would be able to look at this option initially when you haven't configured git or any other plugin you will only be available to see or able to see this none here but because I have already configured I have successfully configured or integrated GIT installed GIT plugin in this environment I'm able to look at this so I simply select GIT and as soon as I select GIT it will ask me to enter the repository URL so I have already registered on this HTTPS github.com so that's the github My, I have already registered on github and uh, then I have already created a git test repository onto it and in that git test repository I have added three files mainly so I have uploaded this files so I built this project using ant so you can see I have got a test.java when I expand this test.java so let's look at the code so it's a simple file which contains a simple message welcome to BISP in the second file we have it's a destination folder which contains the test class and uh, the third one we have is the build.xml this build.xml it contains the uh, projects and within project it contains the target so to know more about projects, targets, and to know more about these files and the lines, you can go through my existing video, which 
is mainly related to ant so in there you can have a look how can we create a java project and execute it by using ant so i have a build.xml file and it is successfully uploaded on the gist test repository so i need to provide the repository url so my repository url i have got, we have got two types two types of repositories either we can go for http or use ssh in https we do not need any keys and all we simply provide the repositories credentials whereas if we use ssh then we need to have we need to provide the username we can we need to provide the security token and keys so in this case i am going i am using this https so i select this url i select this http url and paste it here so that's my repository url github.com so my world 2006 gitest.git and then i click on add jenkins because we need to provide the credentials to log in into this repository so i provide my username and password so i provide my username and password and then click on add so after i added the credentials i scroll down and look for build in build when i expand it you can see we have got invoke and because i want to invoke the libraries which is stored on the repository on the git repository i want to invoke them by using and so i click on invoke and and version so if you have already configured the and version in your environment you can select that or else i'll go with the default now what would be the target target is basically when we expand this build.xml so we have got couple of targets so in this case i would like to start from this run because this target depends on compile so when i execute this run it will automatically call this compile as well so i'm going to pass this target name is called to run so a simple type run here that's the target name so here you have to mention your target name and then finally click on save once we done with this i click on build now and you can see i got a green icon green symbol it means it the project has been built successfully now let's go and check the output so i expand this and click on console output and in console output i can see the output welcome to bisp so the build has been successful so that's how we can integrate jenkins with git and execute the project which is stored on the git repository from within jenkins so our job has been successfully executed so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisp20.com you can subscribe our youtube channel keep watching have a nice day goodbye